Good morning, lovelies, and it is day six of the 30-day uh, blemish removal uh, using natural raw aloe. And if this is your first time here, welcome, 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 and thank you for coming to my channel, okay? So, my channel is health, beauty, a uh, lot of natural care, uh, what else? Shopping. <laughs> I love to shop, okay? So, of course, shopping, which I think I'm ready to do <coughs> a little box opening. Uh, maybe later on today. If not today, it'll be before this weekend is out because y'all know I don't get no off days. And, you know, Jesus gave me this day off because they did not want me to have it. My job did not want me to have it. <laughs> So, I am going to get into today, into today, it is uh, almost 10, it's 9 something, uh, like I said, every day for me for, since September, every day, I work 7 days a week, so since September, every single day I have had to be up and out of the house, and you know, I get up at 5, I do my 6. Five-ish. <laughs> Six o'clock mostly. And I'm out the door, you know, no later than seven. So this has been going on since last September. I don't get, you know, a lot of off days on my project. So uh, I am really relaxing today. Nope, I'm not going nowhere. I'm like, oh, you're getting nothing new. I am relaxing. Something I do not get to do. I don't be bored. I'm my own best company. So, let's get into this face wash. I woke up late today. I took my dog out late last night. So, I was able to sleep in today. And I'm ready to get it started. Okay? So, let's see. already got my aloe here. And again, this is day six, guys. And look, this is what I got left. So, this will surely go past day seven, okay? And it's probably gonna release fast because I took it out a few minutes earlier than normal. Well, release faster because it always does release fast. So, let me wet my face. And, uh, hope you guys are enjoying the weekend so far. It was so good for Friday to be Friday and not Monday. Friday is Monday for me usually. When you work seven days a week, there's no such thing as a Friday. The only thing I look forward to on the weekend is lighter traffic. That's it. That's my only enjoyment on the weekend. I don't have to fight the traffic in the morning. Everybody's sleeping in. So, today we are, as usual, using our peach and lily facial scrub this is a in case you are joining for the first time this is a rice based facial cleaner uh, I did not say it was chemical free but it is rice based okay and it has uh, clean ingredients clinically effective it's a vegan product cruelty free and earth focused so, again, it's not 100% natural, but, you know, I do have to wash my face. So, I like to do things that are natural. But, you know, not everything, of course, you know, is going to be natural. I still wear perfume. I'm not 100% natural, no. But anything that's going in or inside or on the outside of my body, I try Okay, I try to be natural. Let's put it like that. Okay, so I'm not quick chemical free, but I'm on the verge. <laughs> if I learn how to make a bar of soap, so let's get this face washed. So I say it every day. Make sure you uh, get into those problems, problem areas. Mine are. 
the jaws, my cheeks, and here where my glasses sit. So this is an exfoliant. So I like to make sure that I get in those areas because it is an exfoliant which always helps. And let me get my face rinsed so I can get back into the frame. Guys, you know, I'm still an amateur. I don't have this uh, immaculate setup where you know I'm staying in the frame all the time and uh, the camera's steady. No, just my phone, and you know, just want to, if possible, educate. I mean, we, we have enough chemicals in the world that we have to use that if we can do things to avoid some of those chemicals, we should. We, we definitely should, you know. You can't avoid it. You don't, you don't uh, know what pesticides are in your salad, you know, or on your salad or whatever. And yes, even though we rinse it off, still can you get it all out, it's, gr it's growing into the soil. So, of course, you can always, if you have time like that and you have the living space to do it, grow your own. But for those of us who don't, we don't know what chemical level we're, you know, getting. So, again, I'm not chemical free, but I try to get as close to it as possible. I'm sorry, I always forget about Go into the camera and don't go to the mirror. So, again, guys, please like and share, comment, subscribe. Please click subscribe. So, it's ready, of course. And I am going to, and like I said, I made these cups thinking seven days. I'm sure this is at least an eight to ten day cup instead. But you do, it's, uh, to me, I like to, I guess you could put it in a spray bottle. I guess you could put it in a spray bottle and uh, use it that way. But it does not last as long when it's not frozen. So you, you can keep it longer if you freeze it, for sure. Okay. Get that all sunk in, honey. And I definitely hope it's working on this sleepy lines. <laughs> As usual, I am going to grab it one more time. It's really juicy. <laughs> I almost lost it. Ah! And I did. Oh no, I broke it. I'm still gonna use it because let me get it rinsed off. Ah! So slippery. Okay, so I broke it, but again, I put it back in the cup, the pieces, I rinsed them off. If you do happen to drop it, make sure you rinse it off. I have several other cups. So, now it's back down to a seven day cup because I'm sure after tomorrow I probably won't be able to use that anymore. But, no loss. Just have to be more careful and more, most likely it's because, you know, I'm trying to show it in the camera and I'm, the way I'm moving. So, my fault. But try not to do that, okay? Because <laughs> it's wasteful. It's wasteful. Okay, so let's get this dried up. Give him a little old lady fan. And uh, whew, that feels nice. 
I'm telling you, the one thing about it, it does feel nice. So, tomorrow, tomorrow being a Sunday, I may do a steam. And I will try to, it's hard to set it up on camera because the size of the steamer is the tabletop style. And I only have my tabletop tripod. So, the tripod is not tall enough. But I ha maybe I can find a way to set it on top of something or so that you can be able to see it in the camera. I've tried it before. Uh, I guess maybe I can just try to figure out what's tall enough so you can see. Because even though it's a tabletop, it still has some size on it, you know, and the tripod is the problem because it's a tabletop size as well you know again guys I travel for work so I'm always getting smaller items that you know smaller cheaper items and not that I'm a cheap person but when you're on the road it's a different beast if I pack it in my suitcase and then you know if I take a plane usually I drive but if I take a flight there abusive to my suitcase and they don't care what's in it you know and it's, it's hard to deal with being on the road but I, you know this doing the videos was my own idea so I got to take the you know the bad with all of the good that comes out of it so I'm not complaining I'm just telling you guys this is why I only have the small one at home when I do my videos at home yes I have the standing size and you know everything works out better but being in a hotel you know you, you gotta I'm working with what I'm working with so y'all just be easy on me <laughs> with the comments like hey make sure the cameras here and there I wish I could but guys i want to thank you all of you who do tune in thank you so much for watching i don't have a lot of followers yet i am trying i want a lot of followers but you know it is what it is but like i said if if one person you know reaches out and says hey you know that was good i'm you know i'm glad i listened to you blah 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 i'm happy I'm happy. So I am going to let my little aloe vera melt since it's in multiple pieces in there. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to let it melt and then freeze it back so it can be one disc. And I'm sure it'll just stretch till tomorrow. But again, that would have been eight to ten days if I wasn't, you know, uh, Thumbs McGee over here. So. That's pretty dry now. Let's get this brushed off or, you know, not really washing it. I don't scrub it again. I just kind of, you know, light the steam and then, you know, wipe it off a little bit. So don't rewash your face. You can, uh, this doesn't, it doesn't cause it. Well, let me say, since I'm not allergic to it, I haven't had any reactions, no itchiness, no, you know, I'm not dry because after I use it, I uh, do follow up with my facial moisturizer. And as I said, I'm going to mention this on every video, each one, teach one, listen, facial cream is for the face. Hand and body lotion is for the hand and body, not the face. It is very specific on where that lotion should be used, okay? Unless your lotion says face, hand, and body, it's probably too many chemicals, too harsh for the face. And again, Believe me, I didn't notice at first, you know. I did my own little research because, honey, whatever lotion was I was using was what I was using. It's outside of the uh, perfumes lotions, like, you know, you get with your perfume sets. No, I never put that on my face. But 
cocoa butter, uh, you know, Lubriderm, anything that I was using as a body lotion, yes, I was putting it on my face, unknowingly causing a demise in my skin. So, <laughs> you know, maybe if, if I can help someone else before too long, because this, and I've been doing it for years. I just found out recently this isn't for that, you know. It, like I said, it is very specific on the label, hand and body. Doesn't say anything about face, but who thinks like that? You know, it's lotion. You just grab it. So, I would, uh, you know, and I always use decent lotion, Lubriderm and uh, uh, Dr. Palmer's cocoa butter, but those are for your face. Not are not for your face. Don't get me wrong, I just misspoke. Those lotions are not for your face. They say hand and body. I'm, I, I know I'm not the only one who uses Dr. Palmer's. It's thick, it's wonderful. You know, it takes the ash away, it doesn't suck right in. That's a good lotion, but it does say hand and body cream. It does not say facial cream. And again, not that I'm, you know, I don't have no stake in this company, so I'm not promoting it to get them sales. I'm only saying that for my use, and that's why I said yesterday, you, it doesn't have to be this kind. You just want something that says facial cream and not hand and body, okay? So, this is just my favorite. This is Bliss. I hate that it's white on light blue for my camera purposes, but Bliss Drench and Quench. I don't know if it's focusing in enough for you to see that. Bliss Drench and Quench, okay? It is a cream to water hydrator for all day moisture. Okay, that's what we're looking for. We do not want to be reapplying because we dry it out. So, I always, and you know, use just a, a tiny bit. You don't need a lot. You don't have to be oily. It's, it's, it's not thick, but it is heavy enough for, you know, to do the job. So, yes, I love this lotion. So, we are on day six, and guys, like I said, even if they don't go 100% away, I will still continue to do the aloe on my face. It's very refreshing, and it feels really nice. I like, I, my, my skin is really soft after I use it, and it does say that Aloe is a natural exfoliant, which I have taken out all of the pulp because I don't have time to deal with that in the morning. But I'm sure, you know, it's still some in the juices. And this is where the exfoliant probably comes from. But I, I like the way my skin feels. I feel really soft. My face feels really soft. And... <coughs> <coughs> Again, I'm not sure that, first of all, I've worn glasses since uh, probably the fifth grade, maybe younger than that. I was one of those kids, the glasses kids, okay? And these are probably for life, who knows? We will see in the upcoming, you know, 26, 24 days that are left, or whatever it is, I think 24, but... We will see. My main concern were these. So, if, um, like I said, even if they don't go away, you know, it is what it is. And I will still continue to use this, the aloe, because it, it's a natural product. You know, I'm not doing any harm to my skin. So, yeah. I'll continue to use it, and I I do hope that I get some results from it, but if I don't, I'm still going to use it. It's pretty good. Okay. So, I think I want to open some boxes a little later. 
oh, I got some things to do, and I'm sure everybody else does too, you know, uh, that didn't go to work today. Oh, it feels so good to say I'm not going to work today. But this is not the norm, and this is probably the last one because I should be done with my project in May, and there are no more holidays coming up. So, guys, I, like I said, I may be back this evening to do another video, okay? And I want everybody to have a good day. Again, if this is your first time tuning in, welcome. I hope you return. This is a 30-day raw aloe blemish removal journey, okay? I know people have been doing it for four or five days. I don't think you can get results in such a short time. And if you could get results in that short of time, many, many, many people would already know and they would already be doing it, okay? So, again, this is the sixth day. We got this one, got this guy, and this guy here, these guys. This is a group of friends right there. But we will find out if in 30 days, if it's going to remove my blemishes. Because that's what it's all about. I wanted to know if it's going to do what everybody said. Because everybody said, oh, it does this and it's wonderful. Okay, let me see. I have to try it for myself. So, I will be the guinea pig. And hopefully, if I can get some, if those little spots on my... See where my glasses sit? Right in there. So, I have to wear glasses all the time. I'm not a person who can say, I just need these for driving. Or I just need these for reading. No. I need these for seeing. Okay. <laughs> these are for straight up seeing. You want me to see something? I better have these on. The only time they off is when my eyes is closed. And I am sleeping. So, I know it's other people out there that wear glasses adamantly <laughs> so you know what I'm going through with these marks if you are in need of spectacles so I am going to get my day going guys and again I, I'm going to try to uh, get back on later I'm going to get my hair done for the day too get, some, get my hair retightened that's another thing I got to do. So that's why I said I'm going to try later on. And who knows? Maybe I'll be able to get a, another video out. But, guys, have a great day. And uh, I'll see you back here tomorrow. Because, again, even though I'm off work, I'm still going to wash my face. <laughs> Y'all have a good day, a good holiday. If you tune in tomorrow, and uh, I'll be here. See y'all later.